right, today we're offshore fishing. We've got our lines out. We're slow trolling four live baits, live blue runners. And we just hooked up on our first fish, and I believe it's a shark. <laughs> Careful. Today is, veteran, vet, today is Veterans Day, and I just wanted to mention that, um, and I want to just go ahead and thank all of our military members for you guys defending our country, and I have a lot of respect for you, so thank you very much to those currently serving and those that have already served. So thank you very much, and happy Veterans Day to you guys. Awesome, right. You guys, <laughs> we're, today's Friday, and we'll do these daily vlogs. You'll be getting this on Saturday, so... Yes. Um, but happy Veterans Day yesterday for you and right now for us. <laughs> um, and so we're, as Darcy said before, right here offshore fishing, we're slow trolling, often called bump trolling because we just bump the engine in, in and out of gear. And I, for you folks who don't do that a lot, I'm going to give you a little bit of our strategy. And at the end of the video, I'm going to tell you all about the uh, more specific tackle and techniques we use today um, and what worked and what didn't work because we'll see what, how it goes. Uh, but basically, you know, we're out of Boynton Inlet. And we came out here this morning, and you know it's a great place to fish right there. So we like to hit it early in the morning before a lot of boats come out, especially on a day like today, which is a holiday. Uh, so we've got here for an hour, bump trolled from 100 to 300. That's where our ledge is, and it's real close to shore here. And uh, but now there's a ton of boats out, and so we're going to pick up and, and move to another spot. We got a major, you know, with that uh, those that, those moon phases, which we start. I'm just starting to pay a little attention to, so I'm trying to track that too for you guys. Uh, the moon phases. Uh, the major time between 9:30 and 11:30, so I'm going to see if we get more bites then or not. Uh, let me let me know in comments if you guys think that's a, a useful thing, uh, especially for offshore because we're offshore today. The major and the minor moon phases. Yeah, it's, it's a pretty popular thing for uh, fishing to see when the bite is. Just one of the indicators we all, you, you all look at. And uh, so we're going to move to uh, around Sloan's Curve, which is by the Lake Worth Pier. If you're in Boyden and, and uh, familiar with those areas, and uh, let's catch some fish. Yeah. Right, turn the clicker off. You want to run on? It's running the boat. It's running right to the boat, I think. I mean, line, line, line. Okay, okay. We're good. Oh, it just broke. Feel drag. I didn't touch it. It's turning. Mahi! Come on, it's turning. Mahi! Get him, get him on, get him on! Mahi, right here. Stop the boat. Give me a bait. They're huge. He hit it. He hit it. He hit it. He had it in his mouth. He just dropped it. Well, we got a little mahi on a boat. We're trying to hook, but he's very picky. Very picky. Come on, come on, come on. There he goes again. There he goes again. Come on, eat it. Are you hooked up? No. Trying to see if he's hooked now. He's hooked. You just spit it. Got hook? Okay, good. Maybe this line is tangling around me. Please, 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 please help me. All right, all right. There's no ice. <laughs> Most Guggen fishers ever. Oh, he's going in the weeds. In a minute. Crazy fish! He's jumping all over. Look at him. Woo! All right. So we hooked this dolphin. Actually, we uh, moved to the next spot, and we were trolling on a little rip that we found in about 400 feet of water. And anytime you find a rip where like the two the um, water is converging, you see like a little ripple on the surface, and you can see two different colors of water meeting each other. And uh, we decided to fish here. And then all of a sudden, after we were letting out baits, we saw this dolphin right by the boat. And we've got our flippy floppy out. And our flippy floppy, I believe, attracted this dolphin. He's down deep now. All right. All right, yeah, get the fish. Yeah, I'm working on it. Oh. Uh, okay, yeah. Back in the boat. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Nice! Heck yeah! Bloody mess! <laughs> That's okay. Woohoo! 
mahi i mean they're not running through here like they should during the spring but i mean it is possible and we just caught this fish in 200 feet of water i believe and like i said we would kind of want to eat but he wouldn't leave the boat he loved that flippy floppy we had in the water we'll show it to you in a second um but he loved it and then i just threw a chunk of blue runner out there and drifted it back he hit it once spit it and then i did it again and he hooked up so I, we haven't caught a mahi in a while so, so far, this is a great fishing trip. Woohoo! Fish tacos! Holy cow, do you guys see that mess? Take that? it, take it. <laughs> Darcy might have a fish. But that's what happens when you got two people offshore fishing, and it's a little wavy, not too rough. But you got lines going off. So we had a we had a sailfish on. On top of filming. And then, yeah, filming, that's the hard yeah. part. And then and we had a... Uh, <laughs> and then the sailfish broke off, and then we had a dolphin behind the boat. And so we're throwing everything out there. Finally got to think in a boat, but there's, no, there's lines everywhere. I'm trying to film. Oh, but uh, anyway, right now <laughs> we're regrouped and uh, we got about three or uh, four baits left. And so we're kind of winding down the. Uh... See, I got, you got to drive the boat. You got to drive the boat. You got to film. You got to clear lines and you got to fish. And then you got to get the fish. And we don't have any ice. So the <laughs> star Mahi is rotting, rotting in the bill. Yeah, we got to go. So we're going to fish. Uh, until one of these, couple of these baits get gone, and also the major time is over soon, so then we're gonna wrap it up. Um, but man, that was, that was a real uh, Guggen uh, Chinese fire drill there. For sure. But we Ride got the fish. The Guggen. <laughs> but we don't catch a lot of mahi around here, believe it or not. And so we're very excited for that fish, and we're gonna have some great dinner. And we're gonna cook that recipe as Mahi's we always tacos. cook. My oh, we're gonna mix it up and have tacos tonight. Yeah. Uh, this is Ooh, just took a little run and broke <laughs> he just saved us the trouble of breaking him off but that's the second shark we've caught today I believe it's the same species I'm not hundred percent sure what the species is it's some type of reef shark uh, but he just hit our down bait with the duster need to get a fish let me show you the setup that we're using today and I'll give you some of the techniques as well that we're using in order to catch these fish in the mahi that we just caught a little while ago uh, but we are trolling four lines and we're bump trolling so we're going very slow so that way our live baits can swim and be presented perfectly to the predator fish and what we have going on over here is um, we've got a kite rod with a pen senator reel and we have our flippy floppy in the water and it's about 10 feet behind the boat but basically we're just trying to attract fish to the boat get them over here and once they see the flippy floppy then they see our baits and then that's when they hit our baits um, so just another form of presentation to entice them to our boat. And then we've got a T over here. We call this the T. I'm not sure if that's the correct name, but I've, I've mentioned it a bunch of times in my videos. Bird Cell Marine Design makes these T's. So you can check that out on their website. Really great product. We love them. Um, and then we've got in our T, we've got one of our down baits. So we have our bait rigged with a <laughs> circle hook and a number, number four wire. And that way, anything that has teeth or anything sharp, sharks, kingfish, you name it, if they hit those down baits, we're going to catch them. So we like, we have two rods down deep with weights, and we like to use wire down deep for the, for the uh, kingfish that come up because we don't want to get those cutoffs. And then we've got two lines on top, free lined, and those don't have any weights. And those are with mono, with fluorocarbon, I'm sorry. So that way we can get the bite from the mahi and we can get the bite from other fish that are shy, that are wire shy. So we've got an assortment of stuff going on and the way we have these weights rigged up on our deep lines is we have a balloon fisher king clip and we have that attached with an egg sinker. And then we just take the clip and we clip it to the line and I clip it about 30 feet above where the bait swims. And then you just drop it down. So both of our baits we actually have one with a little bit of heavier egg sinker and one with a little bit less, but they're probably between five and 10 feet below the surface. So 
places. So that's what we've got going on. Um, you can check out everything in the description below. I'm going to have the balloon fisher cane clips there for you to check out. But that's a really great product and we use it all the time for all types of fishing that we're doing. What do you got? Pretty. Look how pretty. So I just got a bunch of uh, walking boss topwater lures from Livingston Lures. And I just couldn't resist today. They came in on Veterans Day, and I figured why not throw it. Hold on, I have to put a treble hook in my hand. But yeah, so this is the walking boss. And you can see it looks almost exactly like a peacock bass. And he crushed it, man. This is a nice fish too. It's probably, I don't know. I would say he's pushing two and a half pounds easy. But gorgeous fish for a night bite, right? But this is an awesome fish for the night bite. Super stoked about this fish on top of the mahi we caught today and on my brand new Livingston lure. At least I know it works, right? <laughs> so, make sure I don't get hooked right here. But gorgeous fish. I'm going to go ahead and get this treble hook out of them, but I just wanted to show you the lure in action. And uh, But we had a great day. So if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up for us so that way we know we're doing our job correctly. And subscribe to my channel. New videos every single day. And until my next adventure, Follow your dream and keep on catching. Woohoo!